What's going on guys? Tyler, Clean Cut Line. Hope you're all doing well. If you haven't been to this channel before, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today I just want to do a quick video on the easiest way that I've found to sharpen hedge trimmers. I'll do a little example on my extended um, the Echo Pass system articulating hedge trimmers. Um, but I'll show you what they look like before. Pretty dark, pretty dull. Um, I already did one pair. I uh, sharpened and cleaned them and they were almost in the same, con ca same condition as those. And here is the after of those. You can still see the oil on there. But to clean them, what I did was I used this Echo Red Armor um, blade cleaner and lubricant. And then I used a little wire brush and cleaned them and you can tell they're nowhere near as dark as what they were but what I used to sharpen hedge trimmers is this Dremel 3000 pretty cheap you can get a little grinding stone plug it into the wall and you're good to go so I didn't realize I didn't hit record but pretty much all you do is take your grinding stone and go back and forth across the hedge trimmers like that. And you end up with a nice clean uh, area on there. To, uh, and some sharp trimmers. It does help for sure. Um, you know, I showed you the after pictures on those. And it does. it is a pretty easy way. Even though I do typically like the cone shape. Uh, grinding stone for the Dremel tool when doing this, but these work too. Now, of course, that could have worked a little bit easier if I would have spread them out, spread the teeth out a little bit further, but that is so easy, such an easy way to do it, a lot easier than a uh, angle grinder or something like that, and a lot quicker than a hand file, but I just figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description to the Dremel tool. They're fairly cheap. I think I picked that one up for like 60 or 70 bucks, but it's well worth it. It comes in handy. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.